I'm going to start, start a recording right now. And the goal that I'd like to do is to demonstrate new construction in Revit. Remember, yesterday during the lecture, I demonstrated new construction in SketchUp. And now I'll do the new construction in Revit. The existing construction is all shown to you in videos in the week eight playlist. Okay, so that's why I'm doing the new construction right now. So let me see if I can, uh, oh, see, I was in a meeting instead of getting ready, which is why nothing seems to be working quite right for me. Here we go. That's okay, we have plenty of time. There we are. So here I am in Revit, and I think I can open a file. Well, I might have to do it all from scratch. Let's see. Oh, I know where it is. Sorry, it'll take me just a moment to get there. I need to go to I think I loaded it up. What is up with this? There we go. Well, maybe not. All right, I'm going to have to start it up from scratch, but that's okay. It won't take me long, and you'll see one done all the way. So I'm going to do a new. I'm going to use an architectural template. And I'm going to go to my site plan view, one inch equals 20. And I'm going to hide in view these elements, oops, this category. And I remembered the first thing I needed to do was draw my property line. And so it starts out going 63.5 north 90 degree east. And then I make another one that's 115 feet north three degrees west. And I insert another one that's 160 feet north 90 west. And then I make another one that is 75 feet south. And then I add a line to close. And that should come out kind of, there it is. Look at that. Okay, isn't that cool? Okay, so that's my property line, right? And so Revit is pretty quick if you know what you're doing. And it's kind of slow if you don't. But the next thing I need to do is make my massing in sight of a topo surface. And I'm suspecting that you all sort of have some basic understanding of this one already because you've done it. But I'm going to place a point at zero and then up to six feet here and then at five feet. And remember, this is 120, 126, 125, and four. And there's my site. And I'm going to put myself into a wireframe mode here. And then I think I need to write down a detail line like 40 feet long. And I'm just going to type the number 40. And then I'm going to go up here, perpendicular, and draw one down that's 
50. And then I'm going to kind of like see if I can. Here's that one. So I can erase that one. And then I can move that up. There. That's where my building pad goes. And then I think I said that my building pad under massing and sites, I'll make a building pad. And then it's going to be, and now I made a foundation level before. So this time I'll do it this way, 6.5 feet from level one. I'll do it in a different manner so you see two ways. And I think it's 36 by 36 by 24. There we go. So there's my building pad. And if I look at it as 3D, there's a building pad. How cool is that? Back to my site plan. And now I think that what I'm going to do is just build my driveway all the way out as a building pad again. So I'm going to go from here over to here. So it's going to be 74. And I'm going to make that at six foot. Let's see if I've got this right. Ten feet wide. There we go. And let's see what that looks like now. Let's see if I got it. Yeah, and I know that there's a problem over here. And I can fix that later on if I want to. So now I'm going to show you how to do walls that sit right on this foundation. So I'm going to go to architecture and I'm going to make a wall. And, you know, I keep using this brick wall because it kind of looks okay. And look, my, my height, my base offset is going to be 6.5 feet. The bottom of my wall should be at the same elevation as my um, foundation, which is 6.5 feet. And then the top constraint should also be from level one. Oh. And it should be up to a height of eight plus six is 14, 14.5 feet. I think that does it right. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna make my building down here, down. 12 and over 8 and down to here and then I think it goes over 22 and then up 6 and over 6 and up to there. Let's see what it looks like. Nope, those walls are all too tall. So their height, my unconnected should have been 8 feet. Oops. There we go. I can always get something fixed when, when I make a, a mistake. And then I suggested putting a roof on it. And so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll do a roof and I'll make it from level two. That's cool. And the bottom of my roof is going to be higher than level two. Level two is 10 feet, and this is 14 and a half. So it'll be 4.5 up from there. And I'll put a two foot overhang. And I'll start there, there. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. 
let's try that again. I want to pick a wall and I want a two foot overhang. Yeah, it needs to be on the outside of the building, not an overhang to the inside of the building. And then I can make my corners. And now here's a tricky part. This wall, I'm going to click on it. And see how it says up here defines the slope? I'm going to take that off. And on this, this roof, not wall, I'm going to take it off. So now it'll be, it'll be a gable roof. And I'll attach the walls. So there we go. Let's see what it looks like. It, there we go. And that's kind of cool. Otherwise, I'd need a... So that's my existing plan, but there's a few things still left to do. So one thing is I want to change this site plan, right click. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to make this my existing site. And I'm going to, everything is going to be changed to existing. Okay, so in my existing site, my when, my phase, changes to existing. And I should show all, but I don't have everything as existing yet. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to change my topography to existing. Everything gets changed to existing. Now I have to get my walls. Now, when I go back to my existing site, everything shows up. Everything is now existing. And I think the last thing to show are some trees. And I think I put in a fraxinus. And I just put three of them in somewhere for now. There we go. That's kind of cool. That's my site. So I'm happy with that. Okay, looks, looks good to me. So that was, that was the demonstration that are in the videos already, but there's another version of it. So now I need to show new construction. Okay. So new construction. And I can leave this here. It's kind of cool. But the part of the new construction that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new segment of the building pad. And I'm going to add some new walls. And I'm going to I'm going to hide that wall. I'm going to I'm just going to kind of make a new thing. OK, so and I'm going to do it in my site plan. I'm going to make a new one now called. New site. There I am, new site. And in my new site, I need to change this to new construction, show all. There we go. So now I can demolish this 
in new construction. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so that'll say that that thing gets demolished. And that's just there for our information. And then I think I can hide it. Let's see. There we go. And it's going to still show it. Uh, no, it's going to still want to see it there. Um, I'm going to make this easier. I'm not going to worry about that. Under new construction, I'm going to put in a new piece of building pad. Okay, so where will my new building pad go? Right next to that. So there will be a new building pad that will be kind of like that, but this will be 15 feet. There we go. And it will also be at 6.5. Yeah, that's, and that's what a contractor would have to do if I'm going to extend this wall, right? A contractor would have to pour that. And then I'd have to hide this wall. And I'd have to build a new wall. So let me build a new wall. And I'm not sure I got it all the way down there quite right. I got I got a little mismatch. You can get that corrected up, but let's see how it looks. Just really good. There we go. So that's not too bad. Okay, and then I can put my roof on it. I can I can either extend that roof, but you know, they're gonna build some new roof. So you gotta be thinking about that a little bit. So now I'm gonna put a new roof on and overhang, blah blah blah. And I'm going to pick some walls. And where did that roof go? It was all the way out to here, right? And then the new roof... will come down like that. So I need to trim that corner. That should be my new roof. And then this one should have no slope. Where's my no slope? There it is. And this one should have no slope. Let's see if I got it kind of close to right. There we go. And of course, I would probably want to put something like, oh, and it looks like I doubled my overhang. This one should not have had overhang. That's okay for what I'm doing, for a quick visual. Okay, so I just extended that. That's my new. Now, what else did I need? I needed a new parking lot, which I'm going to build my parking lot as a building pad.
Let me make that a wireframe so I can see it. And I said it was going to be like, didn't I say it was going to be like 45 feet by 40 feet or something like that? Maybe even just 30 feet. And that's going to come up to my 6.6. .6. There we go. Let's see what I look like now. Cool. And now you can see this is a lot like SketchUp. Look at that. And I'll probably need to put in a retaining wall and some other stuff. Now, the next part is a little bit tricky. The next part is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to do something kind of cool. I'm going to modify this so that it slopes down all on its own. Mm, or do I want to make a ramp? I'll make a ramp. It's going to be a ramp. It's going to go from, I'll call it um, two feet from level one to 6.5 feet. I don't know why that's not letting me do that. There we go. And I can make this as wide as I want it to be. And then I can change its length a little bit later. Hmm, I'm blowing it here. Let's see. Hold on a sec. Well, first of all, I have it going the wrong way. My ramp needs to change its direction. I need to move that to there. Now, how do I change its direction? I should be able to change its direction. Well, when all else fails, rotate the part. There we go. So I'm off on a couple of things. I don't know why that's off, but that's how you put in the, and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. That's almost there. There. Got it. There's my, there's my driveway. Okay, and it's okay if this is off a little bit. Those are some tricky Revit things that you'll be able to do, and I'll show you another way. But I wanted to show you sort of the same methodology that we used before. Okay, and you know what? I'm actually going to make that pad so that it's not 
demolished. I actually like that. There's my entryway. Here's my parking. And I'm just about set. So now I just need light bollards and some stuff like that. You can see that my ground is not matched up perfectly. That's okay for what we're doing here. Okay? Perfectly fine for what we need to do. So what did I do? To do my new work, I added a building pad. I added a building pad. I added some walls. I added a roof. And if I want to edit that roof so that it doesn't Hit that other one, I can see that I just need to bring it back to there. Revit is really easy to fix problems once you've made them. So I had to make a new pad, and I'm just thinking through my construction. I had to make a new pad, I had to build new walls, and I had to build a new roof. And then for my parking, I had to build a new pad. And I used a ramp here. I used a ramp, which you can play around with. Tomorrow, I'll show you one other way that you can do that if you would rather. And so then I just need some things like a sign. I don't know where to go get those. Components. Let's see if I can find. Nope. So to find extra little doodad things, I can go to insert a family and then start looking around. And so if I need like lighting, here's lighting stuff. And if I want extra, there's that bollard light I was telling you about. And like, where did it go? I don't see it anywhere. So here's where it is. It's down here in families in my project viewer. Lighting, and this seems like maybe it's complex, but it's not really. Fluorescent. And I just bring it over here. And I can just plunk them into place. Now, it could be that they're down below. So I want to see. I'm always looking to see. Where is this thing? When I click on it, nope. It's above level one, so that's okay. So I can just put a bunch of those in. And I can copy it, or I can just go put another one in. Click. Click. Click and escape. Now I've got my bollards. And if I want to insert another family, a wall pack, oh, that looks kind of cool, a wall light. And maybe I can put it on a wall. Let's see if I can go find that thing again. Here they are. Oh, wall lights. So you can see how it, it kind of shows things for you. There. Look, it even turns the corner of the wall for me. Isn't that cool? So 
So I've got my lighting, I've got my parking, I have my access, and I have my new building. So now I make that look really easy, but you can just go through it one step at a time. Okay. There we go. There's my cool site. Now, you know, you can't have somebody driving off the end. There's all sorts of things that we would do to this to make it better. I'm not interested yet in make it better. I just want the basics done. And I just want you to play with this. And like I said, you can use SketchUp. Or you could use Revit, whichever one suits your fancy. Okay, I will show you one last thing, and that's on the site plan. I can do something called a camera view. So I'm here on my view tab, 3D view camera. And I'll take a picture from here, looking this way. And I'm a little bit too low. I think I showed this. So I'll put my eye elevation at like 12 feet. And, and it's kind of neato what you can see. And you'll see that I've got this. This ramp isn't quite working for me. I'm going to have to do some stuff with it to make it to make it kind of look right. So it's not hollow under there. But I'll show you how to do that next week when we make our landscaping of improvements. Okay, but if you're interested, you can do a rendering of this also. Oh, I should have made it show a tree. Let me, let me, um, let me, let me stop that so I show a tree. Because the trees really look nice. Um, where do I see a tree? There's a tree. Am I in front of all the other trees? Yeah. So let me just render that part of it. View, render, yeah, I'll save it. It's really project two, uh, but let me do a render of this now. Trees come out, and that's on medium. When you do a really nice rendering, it's really good. But you can see the bollards. You can see the tree. You can see this. You can see I don't quite have it matched up there. I don't really care for this week. This week, I just want the basics. I just want the basics. Okay? I can render that, too. Okay. So there we go. There is, that's what I'm going to.